Hi, thanks for joining me on Learning with Natural Hair. Um, this video is a response that I had to uh, that I have for a viewer who asked me, "How do I make my pony puffs?" And so I'm going to come to you today and show you um, one way that you can do that. So I just um, got up not too long ago, um, and I messed with this a little bit, but not very much. This is um, my hair. Um, from a twist out. I had two strand twists in the back and I have flat twists in the front. So as you can see in the front it's kind of more unified than it is in the back. And unless you want a ponytail that's kind of, you know, got some straight things going on, what you can do is take your spray bottle and kind of use the reversion to your benefit to make it into more of a puff. And so the tools that I have today for this pony poof are you can use one or two headbands depending on how tight um, how tight it gets because you don't want it to be too tight. Uh, you don't want it to squeeze your head, which one of these is tight enough for me actually. And then you want a spray bottle. And actually, I believe all of these, yes, all of these tools that I'm using I got from Dollar Tree. So this was a dollar. Um, and these came in a pack of maybe two or three and this came in a pack of about three or four or so so what you want to do is you don't need a comb or brush necessarily you just kind of you know sh stretch your hair out some just you know make sure it's not folded in in some places just kind of pulling it up and it doesn't have to be perfect kind of work it toward where you want your ponytail to be. So just stick your fingers in and kind of pull your hair in between your fingers and kind of just work your hair in the place that you want your poof to be approximately. And to get rid of some of this um, separation, go ahead and spray spray your hair with water to work with your hair's reversion. If your hair does more or less reversion, that might depend on, on how much you get from actually adding the water. But this is one way to just kind of help your hair to, um, to shrink and combine so it looks more like this afro-ish look instead of these single um, look. Twist outs. <laughs> so I'm just doing that right now, just wetting my hair. And um, the poof is something that's good for when you have worn your hair straight and it's starting to revert back um, from humidity or kind of uniformly reverting back. Um, and if it's not uniformly you know, reverting, of course, you can add water and kind of work with it. You see it's kind of coming more uniform now with the water being added. This is also a good opportunity to add water to your hair when your hair is dry. It's a good opportunity to add that. See it's becoming more uniform now. amount of water that you want just kind of work with it while it's coming together you can separate them some if you want if they're single parts just kind of separate them to make them look more like a fro if you want to And doing this on hair that's reverting or on hair that's in more of a afro state will give you a bigger poof. Um, because if you do it on straight hair, then it won't give such a poof. Let me turn.
So when you get it about as fluffy as you want it, you're going to act like you're putting on your headband, okay? Just like you would normally put on a headband, except we're going to move it back. So, both of these headbands, um, they didn't last very long, so if you can see, this has got kind of a split right there. And my other one does too. So if you want to avoid that, you might want to try to get some headbands that are of a stronger quality. But what you want to do is just get your headband on your neck. Okay. I'm just still kind of working this back. And then just bring it up like you're going to put on it. Put it on as a regular headband. Once you get it on, you just start to work it back. And the more you work it back, the more narrow your proof will get. So you just work it to the place where you want it. Just stretching your hair um, as you go along so that it's not um, being pulled from under the headband. So, I'm not going to pull the back up too high to where my hair starts coming from the back, coming out from under the headband, um, because you want it to look like it's inside of the headband. So you just work your, work your headband back, still stretching as you go. You get it to the place where you want it to be. I'm gonna unfold it. And then just kind of stretch it to make it uniform so it's not flat, really flat in some places. And be aware that if your hair is still wet and prone to a lot of shrinkage, that it still um, will probably do some more shrinking once it's in the proof. So you might adjust your headband later if you don't like exactly how it looks when you're done. Um, or if, if you want it to kind of keep the length that it is, you can go through and blow dry it while you're stretching it to the length you want it to kind of be. Blow dry it to keep it at that length. Okay. Let's try to work it, make it look as even as you want it to. And if you feel like you want to move your headband up, but your hair is starting to come from under the headband, just grab some bobby pins and um, pin the hair up that, that's coming down. Okay. Then you can kind of, if you don't like the like pokey, looking here, just kind of pat it down to give it a flatter, flatter look. More uniform. So that's kind of how you can do your pony poof and you just adjust it as you need to. Um, you can make it, you know, smoother if you want, just work with it. Um, but that's the gist of how you do it and hope that was helpful for you. Um, you can, another thing um, you might want to do before doing your pony poof is to moisturize your hair. It's a good opportunity for you to add the moisture that you need and the water that you need for your hair um, to to condition it better so it's not so dry and brittle um, and it's it's a good style um, if you like to wear it for when your hair is just like in one of those states where you're like okay I don't have time I don't have time to detangle my hair or I just really don't feel like it right now this is a good kind of style for that um, because it doesn't take a whole lot of detangling it just takes a, a little bit of manipulation um, getting it to stretch 
how you need it to with water and um, just getting it in the place that you want it to be. But it's a good style when you don't have a lot of time to work with your hair. You're in a hurry or you just got a lot going on or you just don't have, you know, the desire to, to do too much. Um, but just, you know, make sure that if you sleep in it a lot or if you use it or if you wear it for an extended amount of time, make sure that you go through and detangle your hair. Um, because you don't want your hair to get too tangly to the point where it's knotting up and um, coming, you know, becoming brittle and breaking and that kind of thing. So you still take care of your hair, um, but it's just kind of a go-to style if you are in a hurry or you need something else to do. So I hope that was helpful. Please um, let me know if you have questions and recommit and subscribe. Bye.